If you want to buy cheap Fallout 76 items or boosting services fast and safe, then check out u4gm.com and make sure to use my discount code DEMON for 5% off your entire order. A link is in the description below. What's up guys, Demon Asylum here with a new Fallout 76 video in which I'll be going over a preview of the patch 12 highlights that got shown in today's Inside the Vault article by Bethesda. If you guys do go on to enjoy this video or find it informative, I'd really appreciate if you took a second to drop a like on it and subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a great Discord server about all things Fallout 76 that I'd love to have you guys join. If you're interested, the link is in the description. So I'm just going to hop right into the article here, which as always, I will link in the description for you guys. If you want to check it out and read along while I'm going over it myself, or if you guys would like to just check it out on your own instead. Either way, it starts off by saying Fallout 76 Inside the Vault Patch 12 Highlights. Welcome back to Inside the Vault. This week, we're sharing a look at a few of the improvements and updates coming with Patch 12 later this month, including more details about display cases. As is tradition, we will post the full patch notes on Patch Day. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy learning about some of the highlights from the update. So first we have Put Your Gear on Display. Add even more personal touches to your camp and flaunt the gear you've collected during your travels in the wasteland with display cases. In patch 12, we're adding a number of different cases, stands, and racks that you can use to exhibit items like your favorite guns, melee weapons, magazines, bobbleheads, junk, and more. Adding items to a display works much like assigning items to vending machines or a fermenter. Once you've built a display in your camp, you can assign items to it directly from your stash and they'll appear for all your visitors to admire. Items you place in your displays will remain in your stash, but a new trophy icon will appear next to their names so that it's easy to identify what you're showing off at a glance. To build a display case, head to the camp build menu and find the new displays tab we've added between the stash boxes and floor decor tabs. From there, you can choose which racks, stands, and cases you'd like to build. You can place up to 30 individual displays in your camp at any given time and each type of display has a maximum number of items that you can assign to it. For example, you can place one weapon in a heavy weapon stand, up to 20 magazines in a magazine rack, or up to 4 junk items in a standard display case. We're excited to see your latest and greatest camp designs once you've built a few displays, so be sure to share your photos of your humble abode with us using hashtag Fallout76 on social media after Patch 12 goes live. On to the next thing, which is Charleston Capital updates. In Patch 12, we're revisiting the Charleston Capital Courthouse to make significant updates to buildings interior. Primarily, we've reworked the courthouse's layout and design so that it better reflects the story you uncover as you play through the Key to the Past questline. We've also added a few new notes, so you have a little more to learn about while you're there. Additionally, we've split the main capitol building and its courthouse wing into two different interior cells to better support the key to the past questline. These locations were previously part of the same interior cell, and this change allowed us to adjust the difficulty of enemy spawns in both locations. The courthouse level range now matches the top of the world, and the capitol building matches the mire region. While the key to the past objectives in the courthouse are the same, these improvements should help to offer a richer experience for players who are playing through the quest. On to the next thing which is called line your pockets with more caps. Prolific shopkeeps throughout Appalachia have let us know the current maximum of 25,000 caps per character could use a bit of a boost. We're currently planning to deepen your pockets by increasing the cap limit to 30,000 per character so that you can hang on to more profits from your vending machine or save up for those pricey items you've had your eye on. Next up we have stay on your feet. There's a time and a place for rest and relaxation in the wasteland and we've heard the community's feedback that it can be too easy to accidentally start using a chair or bed when you're busy trying to rebuild Appalachia. In patch 12, you will need to briefly hold down the activate button to enter furniture, play instruments, or drink from an open water source so that you're less likely to perform these actions when you don't mean to. Moving on now to nuclear winter balance tuning. We're making a number of balance changes in nuclear winter to give a little more love to items and weapons that were underperforming and tone down a few weapons that felt a bit too strong. Full details will be available in the patch 12 notes on patch day, but as a preview, we're planning to increase Radaway's effectiveness, reduce the range of the Tesla rifle's area of effect, and buff up the lever action rifle's ammo capacity and reload speed, among others. Finally, also related to Nuclear Winter, we have new kits available. 
Sometimes all you need to get an edge over the competition is a new perspective. With patch 12, we're planning to add a staircase quick kit to Nuclear Winter so that you have a new trick up your sleeve to outwit other candidates when the pressure's on. Throw down a staircase kit to more quickly make your way up to steep terrain and gain the high ground on an opponent. Next week, we're going to dive even deeper into patch 12 with more details that will help you take on Vault 94, as well as exploring the new Choose Your Perk system for Nuclear Winter. Until next time, we will see you in the wasteland. That's going to be it for this video though guys, let me know in the comments what your thoughts on patch 12 are so far and if you're excited for its release. As always, if you've enjoyed this video or found it informative, be sure to drop a like on it down below, subscribe for more, and click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.